Hi Scorpio, this is going to be a reading for that first week of September 2022 and that will extend from the 1st through to the 9th of September 2022. Now the overall energy, it's kind of like, um, kind of like sporadic all through the, uh, throughout the whole month of September, okay? But it does talk about very intense emotions that are coming up, beliefs and, and activities and even environment and interactions within your environment are becoming very, very staticky, okay? Very, very intense. Some, some things may actually uh, be carried to extremes and there may be a period of conflict in your life where, ha where people are challenging your idea and making you stand up for yourself. It's almost like they're questioning um, your belief system. They're questioning something that you're choosing to defend. That could be uh, some type of political upheaval in your life. It could be a rally. Maybe you're getting involved in strikes at work or walkouts, okay? It does talk about people are fed up. They're fed up as they're moving into September. They want things to go back to normal. So they're ready to take action on things. There's going to be conflict and fights. There might even be wars that take place. People are opposing ideals and values, okay? And there is going to be the excessive degree in everything. It does talk about intensity and a great, great passion. But it's conflict, conflicted by, uh, or complicated by conflicting emotions. It's like, anger but then pacification and then pacification but then you know anger okay so it does talk about people being very very clear about what they want and how they plan on getting it and they're very forceful in their actions now i know politically i'm not politically minded but i do watch the news and so we do have a couple of powerful figures that are going up against each other and i am of the mindset like I, I just can't believe this is taking place. We have people, voices of authority in our country, okay, in the country that I live in, that are antagonizing other people from other countries, other authority figures. They're poking fun at the bear. They're making fun of other leaders. They're, they're acting childish. Like people in positions of authority, politicians, are standing up and laughing at people who have their finger above a very uh, end all or be all type of situation, okay? So it's almost like the conflict is wanted. It's wanted and so they're forcing other people's hands. They're literally poking fun. Why would you poke fun at a bear? Why would you cause that anger and that distension in society or in your life? Why would you deliberately do that? Kind of makes you wonder if, um, if there is going to be a war, if the war is actually manifested because people in positions of authority or power are getting something from it. Is it, I mean, they say that war is a very uh, lucrative endeavor, that it's a very um, monetary type of element in our life. When, when there is a country that goes to war, it's power and money that they're looking to achieve or accomplish. It certainly isn't for um, defending uh, their values and their rights. I mean, it might be, but it's got more to do, I think, with money. And that's what it's talking about here. And the overall energy of September, it's about power and it's about money and it's about who's got the stronger resolve. Who's, who's the one uh, in power? Who's the one that has, um, you know, uh, more control, okay? It's someone in that month of September, you've got all these powerful people all vying for a place on the, on the podium. And it's like, they're not, they don't care about what us people below think. And if we want a war, if they don't care. They want their place on the podium. They want their place in history. And that's where this seems to be going. But laughing at somebody in public, an authority figure who has power and is, a, is you know, up on that podium already, is already utilizing their power um, in politics, okay? And they stand up and they poke fun at another authority figure or another uh, powerful um, player in their game. They po poke fun at them because why? Because the person's not wearing a damn shirt and so they make fun of them. That would be like 
making fun of someone just to create a stir, okay? And that is ridiculous. That it, These are the people that, sorry, I'm getting into the politics and I shouldn't, but these are the people who are running our country, the ones who are acting childish and they're um, trying to take control and power from the people. They're also poking fun at people who have the capabilities to certainly stand up to them. And it's almost like they're antagonizing them. So this is what's taking place in that whole month of um, September whole month of September. It talks about, um, you know, being careful about making enemies, temper your words, watch what you say. And I'm sure, I'm sure I've made a few enemies myself just by, by calling on their rhetoric. Okay. But it does talk about great passion. It talks about you feeling driven to get getting involved in a major event that's taking place in your life. It certainly talks about enterprises that will be successful. Things are going to be carried to extreme. People are going to challenge you in many ways, physically, your sense of identity. Maybe you don't see yourself as that person. Maybe you don't see yourself. Maybe you're one of these authority figures, sorry, <laughs> authority figures, and you don't see yourself as that vindictive type of childish, uh, power hungry individual. But you know, that veil is lifting. People, people are seeing, indeed, in what direction the energy in the month of September is going. And it has a lot to do with justice. There's an intense focus. There's a great passion. There's an element of danger here. There's an element of danger, and you're seeing insight into a problem. And you have that ability to summon great force, to fight against the evil that's taking place in our world, okay? Okay. Now, there's going to be many threats made in the month of September, but indeed, it's going to be, you know, like, I'm going to make a threat and see how far I can push it, right? But you have to be careful in the month of September how far you push it. Not everybody is going to keep letting you poke the bear, okay? Somebody's going to strike back, and many people will be affected by this. So, you know, all these politicians that are going on your big uh, big meetings and your big, uh, you know, celebratory type of energies and you're poking fun at another country, another authority figure, another politician, where is your common sense? Like, did you flush it down the frickin' toilet? Why would you antagonize a bear? Why would you antagonize somebody who has the power to not only destroy you, but to destroy your fellow compatriots? I don't get it. I don't get it. Are all politicians based on rhetoric and bullshit and power? And I will scratch your back if you give me exactly what I want. But if you don't agree with me, then I'm going to make your life hell. Anyhow. That's just my take on this, okay? So indeed, it talks about, you know, making enemies. It talks about rallies and strikes and walkouts and political upheaval. And maybe, maybe someone's going to wake up to the bullshit we're living through, the rhetoric we're living through, and maybe somebody is going to stand up to the plate and say this isn't right. Where is the ethics in politics? Tell me. So... Uh, that's the energy for the month of September. That's going to be taking place off and on all through the month, okay, from what I see, all through the month. So the first couple of days in that first week, it does talk about you feeling the need to get away. Scorpio, you're feeling the need like the rest of us to get the hell away, to take a break, okay? Maybe you need some variety or excitement in your life. You might even be getting involved in a sporting event just to get rid of some of that extra energy, okay? But it's an activity where no one is getting hurt. They're just getting rid of that excess energy. It could even be a competitive situation, work, love, sports, whatever it may be. Or it could be you vying to get a loan or to purchase a property or a house or a car or something that's going to take you to a new level in your life, okay? Here we go. It talks about personality clashes in the first couple of days of that first week. Personality clashes. I mean, think about it, right? Someone's, someone, someone around you or in your circle of energy or perhaps that you're watching on television, okay, a politician. 
you know, maybe they're having a personality clash with another person. And so they're getting more in your face type energy. They're like, you don't agree with me. I'm going to shut that TV off on you. Quite possible. It does talk about someone in those energies that thrives on conflict. They like to be involved in conflict because it give them, gives them a sense of power and control on their life. And maybe they're the type of person who sees that they were losing control. They were losing the power to do things, whatever they wanted to do. They were losing that power because people were waking up to them and they were losing that power. So what do they do? They connect with somebody on a conflictual type of level. So they create conflict so that they can be the saviors, okay? But they're the ones that started the bullshit in the first place. Now, we could talk about friends, family, peers, but it does talk about getting involved in conflict. Next couple of days, last couple of days of that first week, it talks about, you know, putting some order and organization into <clears throat> events in your life. It talks about material power and material things, getting involved in detail work. Okay, talks about possibly going to a new cre uh, career. Maybe you're joining, maybe you're joining the military. Maybe you're joining the Coast Guard. Maybe you're joining a uniform structure to get that semblance of um, security in your life, okay? Could talk about you going in uh, to an apprenticeship program, learning a skill, uh, having paid education. Maybe you're getting involved in a co-op program or career training, employment, okay? You're bringing a professional attitude with you because this is something that you've been vying for. Scorpio, this is something that you want. You thrive on structure in your life, okay? Now, it does talk about also an organized program of diet, exercise, gym, uh, health maintenance activities. And indeed, if you're joining the military, I mean, I was in the military many years ago. I served my country. My, my brother served our country. You know, I have that element in my loyalty and my um, forthrightness where I will stand up for my rights or the rights of my fellow citizens. And this is indeed possibly what you're getting involved in. And so it talks about you focusing on your maintenance of your health and your fitness level, okay? But still uh, belonging to part of a group, to a structured environment, to belonging to a uniform, wearing a uniform with pride. Now, just talk about you possibly inheriting something or being gifted with property of some sort. Something's being gifted to you that is very special for you, and it might even be a special collection. Now, perhaps there's someone in your life, a marriage partner or um, uh, a love partner or a love interest in your life who is also uh, moving up. Maybe you met somebody in the environment that you had moved into. So maybe you joined the military, maybe you were in boot camp and you have met the future Mr. or Mrs. in boot camp. Wouldn't that be something? But it does talk about this person has their own way of doing things and there might be a few little, uh, you know, like static energies there, but indeed this is someone who makes you think. They make you think and that's what you love about them. Someone's coming into your life that makes you think makes you think about all those little avenues in your life that haven't been delved into. And so you're looking at them in detail now, and it is making you become open to change in your life. And Scorpio, this is something that you needed as you're moving forward, okay? So I shall see you in that second week. Open up all those avenues. Namaste.